In an unexpected turn of events, Afghanistan, a nation marred by a half-century of warfare, violence and impoverishment, has undertaken a groundbreaking initiative. Despite enduring persistent hardships and adversity, Afghanistan is presently in the midst of realizing its inaugural mega-project, the Kosh Tepe Canal. This artificial river, poised to become one of the world's longest and largest irrigation canals, stands as a testament to Afghanistan's resilience and determination. Stretching 285 kilometers in length, 152 meters in width, and 8.5 meters in depth, the Kosh Tepe Canal is strategically located in northern Afghanistan, originating from the Amu Darya River and traversing the provinces of Balkh, Jauzian, and Faryab. Remarkably, this colossal endeavor is being undertaken without any foreign aid or external engineering council. Approximately half of the canal has already been completed and construction is progressing rapidly, fueled by the pressing need to address escalating water and food shortages across the country. While concerns have been raised by neighboring nations sharing the Amu Darya River, Afghanistan has unequivocally pledged to safeguard the equitable distribution of water resources. The Kosh Tepe Canal carries profound significance for the inhabitants of northern Afghanistan, which has transformed into an arid desert over recent decades due to the combined impact of global warming, diminishing groundwater reservoirs, and inadequate irrigation systems. The canal's completion is poised to provide essential water access to over 1 million Afghans and revive agricultural activities on 55,000 hectares of land, with a primary focus on grain and wheat cultivation. Afghanistan aspires to emerge as a wheat exporter by the year 2028. Initiated in March 2022, the project is structured in three phases. The first two involve the excavation of the canal, while the third centers on the installation of water irrigation systems and related infrastructure. Managed by the Afghan National Development Corporation, the project is entirely funded by the government through tax revenues. Initially estimated at $500 million, recent projections suggest an additional $100 million may be required. The marvel of the Kosh Tepe Canal lies not only in its scale, but in the resourcefulness displayed by Afghanistan in undertaking such a colossal project. Operating with limited and dated equipment, a scarcity of experienced engineers, and devoid of external assistance, Afghanistan has navigated the complexities with careful planning and methodical execution. Contrary to critical portrayals in certain media outlets, the project's foundation was laid upon intensive land surveys and soil studies. These studies ensured that the canal's route remained on flat terrain, with a similar elevation to the Amu Darya River's source, avoiding the need for costly water lifts. The canal's trajectory was meticulously planned to traverse fertile lands and intersect with towns and villages, maximizing its impact. To realize this vision, 200 private contractors were strategically deployed across 114 sections, each representing a phase of the canal's construction. Excavators, haul trucks, and project engineers worked in tandem, progressing through the phases according to detailed maps and specifications. The construction also involved the creation of 14 hydraulic gates for flood prevention and the integration of a network of irrigation pipelines. Despite challenges, the project has spurred economic growth in the region, employing thousands of workers, rejuvenating old farms, and enhancing local infrastructure. Additionally, the use of solar panels to power homes and workshops in remote areas disconnected from the power grid has emerged as a noteworthy phenomenon, showcasing a commitment to sustainability. While initially slated for completion in 2028, the project's current momentum suggests an earlier finish, potentially by 2025. As Afghanistan charts this unprecedented course under the Taliban's rule, the successful execution of the Kosh Tepe Canal project offers a glimmer of hope for the nation's future. 
Amidst severe sanctions and the spectre of famine looming, the canal stands as a symbol of Afghanistan's potential to overcome adversity, contribute to the international community, and pave the way for future mega-projects in water management, agriculture, electricity, and infrastructure.